Patient safety, two words, two simple little words, two worn out words. How many times have you heard the words patient safety? And I'm hoping that after you listen to today's presentation, you will bring those words to the forefront again. You know, as nurses, when things happen, we go on about our nursing business. But when patients are injured, they don't go on the way they were before. So today's story will show you what happens to patients and their family as we explore the life of Charlotte, Charlotte's story. But once my mother realized that she was getting better, she also recognized the things that had occurred to her during this time. And it was a really trying time because she really lost her health, she lost her job, and she lost their home. I miss everything about it. I miss living. I would live every moment and loved it. I feel dead because I'm not useful. I don't feel worthwhile. My my life has been taken from me. Well, at 6 o'clock, Charlotte used her call bell. She wanted to use the bedside commode, and her nurse responded. Charlotte was gasping for air. She was complaining of significant back pain. She was cool. She was diaphoretic. And the nurse left her unattended on the commode. The nurse was very concerned about her condition, and she went and called the physician. You'll be absolutely shocked to hear the physician's response. He returned the call, and he said, call another doctor. This is after the nurse told him of her great concern. The Swiss cheese model is the concept that there are several failures in a system, and when the holes in the cheese line up, it permits the error to occur. You can tell by looking at this slide that there were many opportunities to intervene to save Charlotte from her cardiac arrest. But unfortunately, all of them piled up to that outcome. I chose this presentation for its content, and I was extremely moved by the presentation. Ms. Shea, Ms. Levin, and Ms. Iyer are obviously extremely accomplished presenters who know their material well and are able to relay the information to their audience. I think Charlotte's story should be seen by every healthcare professional. It's so important to our practice to realize the impact our care has on patients and families. After seeing Charlotte's story, I started thinking about how it might be so difficult to change policies as a result of an unfortunate accident at a hospital because as a family member I might just want to put the whole issue behind me. I might want to just move on and not have to deal with the, um, the anguish anymore and in which case this mistake might happen to somebody else down the road. 